Welcome to Science Week! My name is Svetlana. I am going to teach you how to make a battery from a lemon. But first, let's talk about the history of batteries. Now I would like to take you to 200 years back and to tell you how it all started. And Galvani was a physiologist. And he was studying the reaction of animal muscle to different stimulations. One of Galvani's experiments was connecting the muscles with two different metals and short-circuiting the metals. Now, to Galvani's surprise, when he connected the muscle to two different metals without connecting them to any electricity source or to any outer source of energy, the muscles were moving. It was very surprising and Galvani concluded that there is something in the animal muscle that gives rise to this movement, and he called it animal electricity. Now, his publication actually invoked many debates in the scientific community, and not all the scientists agreed that this was the source of the movement. One of the scientists that disagreed was Volta, and Volta claimed that actually the movement of the frog muscles was caused by electricity, that is formed due to the connection of two different metals to solution, which served as electrolyte. Electrolyte is a solution that has a salt dissolved in the solution, and then it can conduct charge or ions. This publication inspired Volta to study the, the metal further, and he was studying the connection of zinc and copper electrodes to make a battery cell. And this cell consisted of zinc and copper plates, and in between them was sandwiched cardboard board dipped in electrolyte solution. This solution was actually salt dissolved in water, and it could conduct ions. So what Walter discovered is that each pair of electrodes like this makes an element or a battery cell, and when he piles them all one on top of, top of each other, he could add up the voltage of each cell and get a higher voltage of the combined battery. An example of such batteries can be found in the Whipple Museum, and it is called voltaic pile. Volta explained this phenomena by a theory that is called the bimetal electricity. According to Volta's theory and uh, the development of this theory further, the reason that we have voltage in a battery is that we connect two different metals with a wire, so electrons could flow in the external circuit through this wire, while the solution of each electrode in this cell, which is called the Niel cell, is connected by a salt bridge. This salt bridge is absorbing material soaked with salt, so it could conduct ions and could conduct charge. As a result, it's a, it's a closed circuit, and electrons could flow in the outer side of the circuit, ion in the inner side of the circuit, and since the electricity flows, if we put here, instead of this voltmeter, something like a light bulb, it will lit. Now, the property of each material that defines how good it would be as an electrode in a battery is to do with its electronic properties, and all the materials were listed in tables like these, that is called the standard electromotive series, and this table describes the electronic properties of, of these materials and how good they will be as an electrode in a battery. Now, if we want to have a higher voltage or higher current, what can we do? So we could add batteries in series to get higher voltage or add batteries in parallel to get higher current. Now these are more examples of uh, the first batteries as they presented in the Ripper Museum. Well, and, and similarly to frog's legs, fruit can be used as an electrolyte as well. And now we're going to learn how to make a battery of a lemon. All right, so now let's learn how to make a lemon battery. Now, to make just one lemon battery, you will need a lemon, a piece of zinc, 
piece of copper, a box like this to hold the lemon, and two cables with crocodile connectors, and a light bulb. You might need more than one lemon cell or one lemon battery to have enough voltage to power the light bulb. So you better have several lemons and several kits like this in hand. To measure the voltage that is that we have in the battery, we will use a multimeter like this. So we could measure the voltage between the two electrodes. And here we have just a bit less than one volt in this battery. Um, now, if, if one volt is not enough to power our light bulb, we can connect many batteries like this, or many lemons, in series to get higher voltage. So, I will add my lemon battery to a series of lemon batteries, like this. Let me tell you about this setup and how it's connected. So in this setup, we have lemons that have one or two battery cells. For example, here, we have two battery cells. A battery cell, in this case, would be a copper electrode and a zinc electrode, one in front of each other. And these two electrodes, with the lemon part that is between them, will we'll make a battery cell. Now, when we, we use the lemon for two battery cells, we actually have twice the voltage for our lemon battery. And this is because these two cells are connected in series. So here, we have the positive electrode copper of the first cell connected in series with this wire to the negative electrode, which is zinc, in the second cell. Now, with this wire, we connect the second cell to the next cell in the next lemon with this black wire. Make sure you, that you always connect the positive contact to the negative contact. Otherwise, your batteries won't be connected properly in, in series and the voltage won't be as high as you expect. Now, when we connect as many lemons as we would like to, to use, we will get the sum of the voltages of all our cells and we could measure this voltage with our multimeter. So, once I connect uh, the last cell to these uh, lemon batteries in series, we are expecting to have 10 cells here. Now, each cell is expected to contribute around 0.7 volts. So we have 10 cells here, and that's going to be approximately 7 volts. Let's test this assumption. So I'm going to connect my multimeter to my lemon batteries that are connected in series and measure the voltage. So it is 6.6, .6, and this is because there are more uh, resistors on the way, the resistance of these wires and the resistance of the lemon electrolyte or the lemon juice.
So thank you for joining us for the lemon buttery experiment. And remember that you can try it with different fruits and vegetables.